Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hypercraft Season 6 with me, False Symmetry, and today you find me at the bottom of a very, very large room. Uh, if the audio was correct here, it would sound very, very echoey, because look at this place. It's very, very large. Like, I say large, and I mean, well, look at it. This place is ridiculous, and of course, this is our fort. This is the Star Fort for Team Star Superior Tactical Alliance of Retaliation. Only the best team ever, and obviously the most dedicated team ever, that's for sure. Look at this place, myself and Azuma have been awfully busy digging this place out, and my goodness, it is ridiculous. Like, I can't state that enough, it is actually just silly. And I vlogged on today and thought, you know what, I haven't got a recording uh, well, I have a recording planned a little bit later with Wells Night, which hopefully should be in this video if all goes to plan. Uh, we should be meeting up and doing a little bit of a collaboration uh, to do with this fort. But um, for now, I was like, you know what, I don't really have anything major to get done, so I'll continue the digging. Uh, this whole area here, in there, which is the sort of front, uh, the head, I guess, of the turtle, if you look at the... Uh, the the fort people keep saying it's a turtle which i'm totally for it's better than uh it being a uh a whole bunch of kitchen utensils i'm completely fine with it having a snapping turtle as a base that's not a diss in any way uh however that i mean if you want a blender fine fair enough but um yeah so in this area here this wasn't dug out but i've been busy and um started digging that out, which is taking a long, long while. But uh, also what I have done is I finished off the moat, which uh, took a long, long while, which I'm very glad that I didn't try and finish it in that last episode because of my goodness. Now, I'm gonna quickly just uh, reply to some of the comments I got. Yes, guys, um, Elytras are a thing in ga the game. You can see one on my, on my back right here. And yes, you can fly, but the, the, we're not playing it like that. We're not gonna play the... Uh, the whole war scenario, prank war, whatever you want to call it. We're not going to play it like that. We're not just going to go, oh, hi, I could just fly into your base, dig through the wall and just put a bunch of TNT down and blow it all up. Like, that's not how we're playing it, guys. So, for those that are like, false, the moat's silly, blah, 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 blah. It's, it, it like, we're playing this as like a bit of a game. This is a bit of a troll, a bit of a, a fun, you know, prank war. And of course, you know, um... We're the best team, obviously, right? But, um, yeah, so, like, the idea is we're making it a little bit more difficult for the other team to try and get in our base. Uh, we have doors, obviously. This is where the doors are going to be. And we're not going to make it that easy to get to the door, which is why the moat is there. We also have things like those towers, which are trying to stop the other team getting here. And I'm pretty sure flying is, for the most part, out of the, uh, the rules, basically. The rules are, like, changeable, but basically flying's a little bit of a fluke. Like, I could fly over there right now, drop into their base, and just put a whole bunch of TNT down and game over, you know? But that's not how we're playing it. We're playing it a little bit more subtle. I think our team, in fact, are probably gonna don on some uh, some beautiful leather armor or iron armor when this whole thing goes on. We're gonna make it fun, basically, is the ultimate goal. And, uh, that's what I am completely for. But anyway, you can see I've been busy in here digging this room out and uh, I'm going to continue that and um, maybe get on with a, a couple other things perhaps. See what Azuma's is up to because he's uh, the other guy working on the uh, big hole in here. I might see if uh, he has a plan of uh, action with the... Oh no, he's, he's, he's logged on and started digging. That is our life right now. Right there. Just digging. That, that's Team Star. We are the master diggers. That's for sure. Uh, so yeah, let me finish up this, and um, maybe Azuma has a plan of action of how to start the base off, but I don't know. Um, I'll have to ask him. <laughs> so by the looks of how this is going, Azuma has started on this. I finished up that area there to the same level that this floor is at, and yeah, looks like, uh, ooh, diamonds. Nice. <laughs> That's what we want to find out here, but yes, look at this. Ugh. This makes me so very happy. I'm gonna have to definitely 100% go back over this and do this because it bugs me. Oh, that there is um, blocks under here, but this is gonna look fantastic. I, I just, it, it just really will look fantastic. 
I love a bedrock floor. If you guys have seen my stuff before, pretty much every base previously that I've ever had almost has been dug down to bedrock and then used bedrock as a floor. So this was Azuma's idea. I'm gonna put my hands up. This was Azuma's idea. Was nothing to do with me, but um, I must have like telepathically told him that I wanted bedrock. So uh, <laughs> that's fine. That's completely fine by me. I'm not complaining and um, I, I kind of just love it. So uh, yeah, hopefully the next time I record, we will be down at bedrock. Um, myself and Azuma have been busy bees. So uh, yeah, quite a lot left as you can see, but yeah, great progress is happening and this place is looking so weak. Guys, look at this place. When we started today's episode, we were up there somewhere. Now we are down at Bedrock, my absolutely most favorite floor ever. I love this. And also, with the new texture of Bedrock, it looks fantastic. But um, yeah, so Mazuma logged off maybe 30 minutes ago or so. I carried on finishing it up. I finished up that little area in there, and there was one corner that was for some reason still up at that level, <laughs> which is a bit weird. Um, but I think now, if I look around, it's pretty much all done. There might be a few little spots in the wall like that and the site over there that isn't stone, which I will go and fix. And also I've just gone around <laughs> and uh, I'm a little bit like, I'm not OCD, right? But you know, if you've played Minecraft for long enough, I'm sure you guys have the same tendencies of uh, being a little bit finicky with things. Um, <laughs> I had to go back around and basically Azuma had left a lot of spaces like this with like blocks underneath and if you know me, uh, I had to get rid of those. So apologies for that Azuma. Well, not apologies, like, I sort of had to do it. Just, I had to, I had to, it was bothering me. I was like, oh my goodness, I've got to, like even this, even though it's going to be dark under here, like if you've got some like diorite underneath like here, like that, especially diorite because it's bright white pretty much, you're going to still sort of see specks of it. And for me, I, I, I don't know, I guess I needed to, to just sort of know that like that wasn't going to happen. But anyway, I think what I'm going to do now is remove all the torches and pick those up and then uh, see what this place looks like and fly around in it a little bit. Because Azuma did that before he left and I was like, that's a great idea, have a little fly around. Also, let me finish up the walls and hopefully it should be 100% complete, at least dug out wise. Um, and I'll show you guys what the effect hopefully should look like. But of course, we're going to need, I think, I'm going to I'm gonna pitch it to the guys. Uh, I think this might be the plan already, but I'm not sure, to have a, a black uh, glass floor. Uh, that is what I usually use with the bedrock when I've done it in the past. I'll usually just fill up all of the gaps with glass, which isn't necessary. I guess you just need to do the top layer. But I'm also thinking if the other team for some reason damaged this floor in any way, it might possibly be a little bit easier to get back out of the holes that you might fall into if you've got like, you know, possibly another layer of glass that that you end up standing on. I don't really know. Uh, I guess it depends on how much black glass we have. Right, all the torches are gone. Let's have a fly up to the sky. Let's remove the torch from our hand. Let's chuck those sticks on the floor. And ooh, let's land up here actually. Ooh. Oh. By the way, if anyone dies at this particular moment and the stuff falls down there, it is a massive pain in the butt to get rid of. Or oh, get rid of, but pick it back up again. I say that by accidentally, <laughs> as I accidentally back off of the floor there that I was standing on. I was gonna go land on this, but uh, apparently I pressed the wrong button. Instead of W, I pressed S, which goes backwards. But yeah, you can't really see it that well, I guess. I guess you sort of can. Maybe YouTube might make this thing look absolutely poop and you might be like, oh my goodness, it's pure just darkness, can't see anything. But I don't know, I like this. We can, we can actually see down here pretty well. And I, I quite like the the idea that we've got sort of little these little things in the walls. That could be really nice. I think what, these were mostly put in front of like caves and stuff. You can see some of them are not lit up either. But um, I'm thinking I might just use my camera account real quick to just find the caves that were in here that I've ended up covering up. And just sort of make some uh, make some little things there. Oh, where did Azuma log off? Is he logged off out? Oh no, I think he. Oh, there he is. Done. Smiley face. <laughs> finish it off, X. I finish it off. It looks great, man. It looks so good. It looks great. 
I'm, I'm very happy. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I'm gonna have a little chat with him and see uh, what we want to do next. Actually, this whole task has taken me so long that I'm actually not gonna hang out here for much longer because, uh, oh, is Azuma trying to get out? Is he, is he trying to, trying to, what, what's, no, he's just having, <laughs> he's just spinning around, of course he is. But uh, what I've just realized is it's now like half one in the afternoon and um, I haven't had lunch yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna go pause, uh, log off probably over here somewhere just so I'm not in the way of anything. And uh, I'll come back after lunch because I'm actually really hungry. I didn't realize I literally have just been just purely just doing that for the whole morning. Literally. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun in Minecraft, that is for sure. Right, so it's been an hour or two. I had a bit of a break from Minecraft since I've been playing it all morning. So now I'm thinking we need to gather up hopefully some supplies we have. So we have plenty of glass here, and of course, we have plenty of ink sacks. These are extra, <laughs> extra ink sacks in there. So I'm thinking we just go straight ahead. Um, as Zoom mentioned, that black glass wall is definitely going to be a thing, and, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to straight up just make a whole bunch of black glass. That was a mistake there. Dang it. I See, as much as I love this, being able to change the colour of glass, I accidentally do that so, so often. So let's really, really quickly just grab a shulker box. I don't have any empty ones. Oh, they're in here. Perfect. So let's just plop all of the black glass that we can get. Uh, I think that's gonna look better than grey glass, but actually let's just, you know what, just grab some normal glass. Don't need any sand, but I think I've got some spare glass down here. Problem is, all the stuff down here, as you can see actually. Oh, I didn't realise I actually made some black concrete up. Ooh, nice. Uh, yeah, this this took me a long while, that's for sure. But uh, there should be glass, uh, oh, maybe not. Ooh. There was glass down here. Oh, there we go, glass. Perfect. So that's all for the nether hub. So I'm now using it for the fort because hashtag priorities, right? So I don't know, let me just take all this stuff with me and we'll see what it looks like. I think black glass is going to be the way to go though. But uh, I don't know, I think we're just going to have to save some resources a little bit and just place it on the very, very top layer of bedrock for now. Okay, right, this is going to be a uh, difficult one by the looks. I've got some torches on me, which is a good thing. Because I can't see anything down here. <laughs> it's literally just a maze, right? Let's pop that down. Let's grab some black glass out of there. Get rid of that, and then just place. Let's just let's just do a little bit of a a tester here. Now I've got to find working with the connected texture, so this looks even better. Oh, what's that gonna look like? Yeah, that's gonna look nice. And you can place that on there, which is cool. But I'm I'm worried that maybe we want to do that so that if the floor gets damaged. It's only gonna like make a dent like that, so you're not gonna fall as far, right? Like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I've just realized I've only got a Fortune 3 on me, so I need to go repair my silk touches, because uh, let's just say this project has eaten them all up. Well, I'm done. I've used an awful lot of black glass. Oh, I should say it. I, I say I'm done. I haven't done this room. Oopsie. Uh, well, we'll block that room off for now. Oopsie, uh, that'll work, uh, because I've just thought um, one way of getting rid of torches and also finding if there are any gaps is to do this, right? So uh, that'll get rid of torches, it'll fall down in any gaps that there may or may not be. And this is basically going to prove to us <laughs> if we've done any of it wrong. Any falling down? No, we're, we're good by the looks. I think we're good so far. I, I actually, have been, I've been doing it in such a way that it shouldn't be bad like we should have got every single bit i did it in like four like rows at a time uh just going back and forth um and honestly i think we should have that i think we should we should have it i think we should be do wait yeah see told you water water just showed me that that was there because obviously the water would have them what it did there um and gone everywhere but obviously water basically finds the lowest point and tries to trickle down there. So yeah, this is a good way of getting dirty torches and also finding gaps. This place dark is so trippy. <laughs> My goodness, it's like... Oh, it's really hard to even see the glass. It's just misty and awesome. So we might be down in the scary part of our base, but we are going to be heading upstairs in just a second to meet up with Wells Knight. We're going to work on the very, very top of this thing, the house on top. So we're going to catch up with him, spend maybe an hour or so 
building it and uh, I believe I'm doing the interiors uh, a bit later on maybe on a different episode and uh, yeah it's gonna be fun so let me go catch up with Wells and let's see what's going on. Hello false. Hey Wells how's it going? Pretty good. Um, So the base headquarters it's yes. a thing it's, it, mm -hmm. and we've been we, the viewers don't know but we've been actually working on this for a little while already we have it is a yeah we've got a bit of a basic design right here of what may or may not go on top of this whole thing yes yeah we need a headquarters um and it's kind of a challenge because like if you look at history and you look at what these things actually looked like in history they're really boring <laughs> If you translate them into Minecraft, it's like, let's build a box. They are a and bit, yeah. So that's going to be the challenge. It's like, one, we make the boring house. And then two, we decorate it so that it looks less boring, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, we can make a boring house and have it be historically accurate. Or uh -huh. we can find a way to make it look better. And and I think option two is probably the... Yeah, the, that's the, the challenge. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, so what we're thinking at the moment is we're going to do like a brick um bottom layer like a brick first floor if you mm -hmm. will yeah uh and then bone block for the upper floor yeah and we'll put a roof on it and then uh, we'll have different like sections yeah. for the building mm -hmm. so it won't be one giant flat box and then i think our roof is going to be like a like a single slope Instead of coming to a point in the middle, it's going to only kind of slope in one direction. And I don't have any more slabs to yeah, kind of demonstrate. Yeah, I think that would look cool. But... You mean like at low at the front and then high at the back, possibly? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that exactly. would work. Cool. So I think it's going to look really good. Um, I hope it will. I'm sure it will. It'll be fine. <laughs> well, we'll, if it we'll doesn't, we can that. scrap it and do something else. <laughs> True. That is the beauty of this game. Is You know, if it goes horribly wrong, just kill it with fire and start yeah. over. Wells, this is looking fantastic, dude. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I think? am too. It is it is definitely getting there. Mm-hmm. Got, got a few spots that haven't been done, but, you know, yeah. I'm going to do them in a bit. <laughs> yeah, but you can you can kind of start to see what we're, like, going for at this point. Yeah, F from this angle, yeah, from from sort of looking at the, the completed roof, yeah, you can, you, can see, you can see it coming together, that's for sure. Yeah. Also looks a million times better, like the base as the whole looks a million times better from far away now that there's actually something on top of it. Other <laughs> I was going to say, a... yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it was other so... Than a flat thing. Yeah, it was... Ba now it's a turtle with a house on the back. <laughs> there you... It's a turtle house. It's a turtle house. I mean, who doesn't want a turtle house, right? Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, yeah. It's looking great. I like it. Uh, so what do we still need to do on this thing? Uh, I mean, obviously we need to... Yeah. Like, finish the other side. Yeah, the other or side... we could just leave it and call it like modern. It's it's like post neo modern. <laughs> yeah, it's already damaged. The other team won't want to damage it any further. You know, it, it'll just it'll do. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a metaphor for what's going to happen. Some, something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. No. <laughs> but no, we need to. Uh, let's see. We need to knock out windows mm -hmm. on some spots. Uh, yeah. We obviously got to finish the roof on the other side. Mm hmm. Um, the interior you said you want to mostly take care of yourself, yeah. which I am totally fine with because, uh, yeah. secret, I hate doing interiors. Uh-huh. I've uh, sort of <laughs> marked out where the second floor will go, but other than that, that's all I'm going to do for now. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a bit of a ladder in there, but, um, yeah, that and then maybe, maybe just some detail, a little bit of basic yeah. detail for now on the outside. Yeah, some stuff on the front. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, we'll be good I'm to good go. Yeah, I'm good that. <laughs> cool. All right, well, uh, let's finish it up, and then that should be about it. Sweet. Well, I think we're done, Wells. Look at that. It's beautiful. I think we are, and I think we found a wild Exuma. We have. He's checking it out. He's going <laughs> to He's gonna give us his opinion, I think, in a moment. <laughs> Is it a winner? Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Perfect. I, I mean, that sounds like a 10 out of 10 Yelp review right there. I think so, yeah. Maybe not so much the interior right now, as he's checking that out, but, you know, work in progress. Ah, work in progress. It's getting there, though. I'm thinking, uh, like, I think we're good for today. I think um, so, yeah. We've got all the windows in. We've got the roofy bits done. Mm -hmm. uh, I, like, I think it's... It's I'm, waterproof, I'm happy basically. It. Yeah, like, the, you know, we're not going to have any leaks or anything like that. We're good. It doesn't have a front door. That's the only thing. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, yeah, it's safe. Whole, oh, oh, I, can, I can fix the front door. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I will grab a, a door. What door do you think? Do you think spruce? Oh, uh, 
more spruce or maybe like dark oak even make Ooh, it look more like professional the, yeah yeah dark yeah. oak dark spruce oak. might be a bit you know like a a dungeon or something <laughs> yeah i'm with you on the dark oak i think uh -huh. the dark oak will look really good yeah it just needs some decoration now but we can we can do that as we go cool well uh thank you so much for helping me yeah thank you this was actually a fun project i agree it was awesome Sweet. uh so i'll let you do the interior um uh -huh. and uh i look forward to seeing it awesome yeah i'll give you a tour when uh when i do that <laughs> which i don't know when that will be yet but soon sounds good home sweet home Cool. <laughs> All right. Thanks, false. Great. See you. So just before we wrap up today's episode, I'm actually going to insert a clip right here of myself and Doc M77, another member of Team Star, showing me the cow TNT laundry thing. Uh, I actually take part in said experiment, I guess, of uh, being the cow. You might have seen this in his episode already. If you have, skip through it. But if you haven't, it is the funniest thing in the world. We uh, work out how the cannon works, we work out where the cow lands, all that good stuff. We're going to insert that here because it was a fun little clip and a fun to hang out with Doc. And uh, after that, we will carry on with today's episode and finish it up and hopefully work a little bit more on the house above. Ooh, you got a pretty helmet. I need that. <laughs> Ooh, I know, yeah. <laughs> I always forget I I'm wearing to... one of those. <laughs> yeah, I need to make potions. But yeah, mm -hmm. Fossey is here, guys. Awesome, uh, yeah, team member. Team Star. Yeah. Do you actually remember what Star stands for? I do, only because I have a note uh, written down oh, okay. of it. But uh, so it's what is the, actually our team name? It's uh, Su Superior Tactical Alliance of Retaliation. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it makes total sense, guys. It sounds and really don't cool. Don't you ever, don't ever dare to start trying to make some some weird other you know names. <laughs> it, it's Star. Don't... Yeah. Team Star. All right, guys. It is time. Zuma is ready to press the button. Falsy mm -hmm. is up with one account, um, yep. kind of being close to their base, so we make sure it's loaded. And on top of that, we got Falsy's camera account sitting in the astronaut. In the cow, uh, yeah. The cow. <laughs> that <laughs> is me right now. <laughs> yes. So you can see that from Falsy's perspective, and she will also uh, send me the footage then, so we actually see what happens. Okay, Zuma is ready to fire. I'm yep. gonna stand here. I'm Everything ready. is ready. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. one, and go. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we got ignition. Oh, that was loud. Okay. Okay, 1,600 blocks in the yes. air. 1,700 blocks in the air. Yes. Ah, oh, that's good. 400, 300, 200. Yeah. Oh, he's going to die. Yeah. He died. Okay, yeah. okay. Where did we la land approximately? Just behind I, I didn't their put, base. I didn't Stuffed put slow on falling on there on the yeah. cow, you know. It's by so. this uh, this grey horse. Yeah. Holy crap! It worked. Okay, this. It is... did work. Okay. That's the stuff. Yeah. No, we yeah. shot her this far. Man, that really looks like some towel dispensers they got going on. <laughs> it does, doesn't there. it? Just saying. Wow. Okay. Okay. That means we can easily shave off a little bit more TNT. Uh huh. Probably we can save on at least. Mm, 20 TNT or so that's, to reach that's, them. That's good, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Save okay, some TNT. Yeah. yeah, we were at 95 now, so we are down to in the 70s to reach that. So the cannon is really optimized. It's working so nicely. So while I was editing the rest of today's video, I was working in here, just doing a little bit of block placement here, a little bit of a floor, a little bit of a plan for perhaps a big meeting table with five spots there. Room for a sixth as well, in case we uh, have any other members join us for any reason. I don't know if they, that'll ever happen, but you know, might as well have a little uh, space there. And uh, yes, that, that, that signifies a table. It isn't a table, obviously. Pretty, pretty ugly table, but we can use this as like a bit of a meeting room. I'm thinking up here we'll add some stairs somewhere and we can have some sort of sleeping quarters and things like that perhaps. I'm not sure what, what to put this side. Um, I don't know, a small little display or something or I don't know, a little tiny map of just, the, just this area perhaps. Um, and I don't really know what else actually saying that so you guys can give me suggestions of what can go in here but that's the main idea also saying that if this is where the table is don't know what's going to go there or there but uh that's up to me and you guys so feel free to let me know as well 
But uh, not only do we need the information on what uh, to put in there, I'm going to show you get that guys down here. This place is going to get an upgrade pretty, pretty soon. Oh, hi. That was terrifying. Look at that arrow. It nearly hit me. Man, that guy did not survive that fall. That is for sure. Need to blow that up slash remove that block because that's just plain dangerous. Because everywhere here is non-spawnable. The caves have been pretty much lit up, mostly. So any little spaces that are spawnable are highly spawnable. So that's not great. So the plan in here is to make some rooms. Uh, we're going to obviously have like a storage room, uh, a war room, a an armory, treasure room. Like just, just general stuff. But um, if there's anything... Other than those things that you guys think we need, uh, let me know because they are going to be in this base and I'm just thoroughly looking forward to the idea in here. I think it's going to be fantastic. We're going to have to be super, super careful with what we show you guys because uh, I think there's going to be some sort of sneaky stuff going on in here. Um, but we'll sort of trust you guys a little bit in, in not sort of giving the other team completely every single bit of information ever, but th there are probably some of you guys that will do exactly that as well. But, um, anyway, we're going to be probably be, uh, moving a lot of stuff around in here ASAP. That storage room up there that I can't seem to get into, um, <laughs> which is technically good, right? This currently is difficult. You have to get down there and then up there again without an leecher. So we technically made it quite difficult for the other team, <laughs> even though the ceasefire flag is still flying. But yeah, basically we're going to be moving all our storage to uh, a secret location that won't be that secret, I guess. Um, and, you know, basically figuring out what's going on in here, which is <laughs> going to take a long while, that is for sure. I'm in charge of um, the rooms, I believe, or and a lot of the interior. I think Wells is going to do some interior as well. And man, it's, it, I'll be honest, it's, 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 a, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm gonna cry, maybe. But, uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about this project. It is gonna be a lot of fun. It is also gonna make me cry. And, um, yeah, it's a lot. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like on this episode, please. Uh, let's see if we can get to maybe 2,000 likes. That'd be really sweet if we could do that. I have no idea what like goal we've been reaching recently, but 2,000 would be awesome. And, uh, guys, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.